Hello students, welcome to Adi Chemistry's online coaching. Today we will explore the hybridization, bonding and shape of an interhalogen compound iodine heptafluoride represented by IF7. I am Aditya Vardhan, the founder of adichemistry.com Varangal. Okay, let us begin with some key points about IF7 molecule. It is an interhalogen compound. It has a pentagonal bipyramidal shape and the central iodine atom undergoes sp3d3 hybridization. Before delving into hybridization, let us analyze the structure of IF7 using the Lewis model. In this molecule, the central atom is iodine and it contributes seven unpaid electrons for bond formation. While each fluorine atom contributes one electron, resulting in seven bonds formed by central iodine atom. Of course, there are also three lone pairs on each fluorine atom. However, this Lewis model alone does not provide information about molecular shapes or bond angles. To understand these aspects, we need to employ valence bond theory and the concept of hybridization originally proposed by Linus Pauling. Now the question that arises is, how do we determine that in the IEF7 molecule, iodine forms seven bonds while fluorine typically forms only one bond? To address these questions, let us consider the outer electronic configurations of fluorine and iodine. Both elements belong to the 17th or 7th A group of periodic table. Their outer electronic configuration is NS2 NP5 with N being 2 for fluorine and 5 for iodine. The electronic configuration of fluorine is 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. There are 7 electrons in the outer shell with one unpaired electron. It contributes this unpaired electron for covalent bond formation. Thus, fluorine can form one covalent bond and its valency is 1. For iodine, the outer electronic configuration in the ground state is 5s2, 5p5. It is important to note that the fifth shell also contains an empty D subshell. So we can represent the configuration as 5s2, 5p5 and 5d0 as shown on the screen. However, we can clearly see that there is again only one unpaired electron in one of the 5p orbitals. Iodine's ability to form seven bonds in IF7 signifying the presence of seven unpaid electrons raises the question of how and why iodine can engage in the formation of seven bonds in this particular context. Here you can see only one unpaired electron but iodine is forming seven bonds in uh, iodine heptafluoride. So how is it possible? This is our question. Now let us address the how aspect of the question. When sufficient amount of energy is supplied, the iodine atom undergoes excitation and in this process, two electrons from the 5p subshell and one of the 5s electrons become unpaired and undergo excitation into empty 5d orbitals. This results in the outer electronic configuration of 5s1, 5p3, 5d3, which is known as the third excited state of iodine. In this state, there are seven unpaid electrons enabling iodine atom to form seven bonds. However, before forming these bonds, the iodine atom undergoes sp3d3 hybridization 
the sp3 d3 hybridization involves the mixing of 1s orbital 3p orbitals and 3d orbitals from the fifth shell as a result 7sp3 d3 hybrid orbitals are formed and they arrange themselves in a pentagonal bipyramidal geometry out of 7 sp3 d3 hybrid orbitals five are positioned in a pentagonal planar arrangement forming 72 degrees angles with each other these are referred to as equatorial orbitals the remaining two orbitals are situated above and below the pentagonal plane and are referred to as axial orbitals making 90 degrees angles with the equatorial orbitals these seven sp3 hybrid orbitals are occupied by seven electrons resulting in the formation of seven half filled hybrid orbitals now the half filled hybrid orbitals make sigma sp3 d3 p bonds with seven fluorine atoms Consequently, seven fluorine atoms form seven bonds with the iodine atom in a pentagonal bipyramidal geometry. The bond angles between equatorial IF bonds in the pentagonal plane measure 72 degrees, while the bond angle between the axial IF bond and the equatorial IF bond is 90 degrees. Once again, the key points, the shape of uh, iodine heptafluoride is pentagonal by pyramidal. The bond angles are 72 degrees and 90 degrees. The hybridization in the central iodine atom is sp3 d3. Okay, students, that's all for now. Visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic or search for adhikemistry sp3d3 hybridization using any search engine. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can also find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section. If you find it difficult to reach them, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section or drop an email. adikmg at gmail.com is my email ID.